Let's take a look at solving a linear system of equations uh, using substitution. Learn type here. There we go. Step one solve one of the equations for one of the variables. Step two substitute this into the other equation and solve. Step three substitute this value into the equation from step one and solve. Okay, well, let's take a look at an example of this. Take a look at this one. Tablet up here. There we go. So we've got 5x minus 4y is equal to 30. And y is equal to 2x minus 9. Okay. Step one. Solve one of the equations for one of the variables. It does not matter which uh, one you choose. I'll choose the second equation. y is equal to 2x minus 9. It's the easiest one. It's already solved for y, so you don't have to do any work at all on this particular problem. Step two. Substitute this into the other equation and solve. Well, our other equation is 5x minus 4y is equal to 30. Now we just said that y is equal to 2x minus 9. So we're going to replace the y right here with 2x minus 9. So we've got 5x minus 4 times 2x minus 9 equals 30. Okay, now we want to solve this. That's the second part of uh, step two here. Well, I want to use the um, distributive property. I want to multiply the, uh, the, remember when you have a number in front of your parentheses, that indicates multiplication. So we're going to take the negative 4, multiply it times a 2x, and times a negative 9. Well, negative 4 times 2x gives us negative 8x. Negative 4 times negative 9 gives us a positive 36. Equals 30. Remember in mathematics, no matter where you are, combine together like terms. Well, 5x minus 8x is negative 3x plus 36 equals 30. And we're, we're solving a, when we say solve here, this is a linear equation. Everything's the first power, so I'm going through my get rid of parentheses, get rid of fractions, get everything with an x on one side, numbers on the other side. So I'm going to take this this 36 and take it to the right side. Now remember, when you take anything cross or equals, your sign changes, so the 36 becomes a negative 36. So we got negative 30, negative 3x is equal to and um, although they don't look like it, those are like terms. Numbers are like terms. So 30 minus 36 gives us negative 6. Then our last step in solving linear equations is divide both sides by the number in front of your x, which is a negative 3. So divide both sides by negative 3. When we do that, these uh, negative 3's will cancel. And negative 6 divided by negative 3 is 2. Now step 3. Substitute this value into the equation from step 1 and solve. The equation from step 1 will always be our best one to plug it into, because this is already solved for your other variable. So we're going to plug that into y is equal to 2x minus 9. And up here we just said x is 2, so we're going to replace the 2 here, uh, or replace the x here with 2. We've got y is equal to 2 times 
2 minus 9. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, so we've got 4 minus 9, or y is equal to negative 5. Now, our answer is um, these two merge into a point, so we're going to have 2 comma negative 5. And that would be our answer to this problem.